issues with my people. No, I'm not causing issues. You know that. This is new police training on the duty to intervene. Come on. I you can't do this. Officers learning the best way to follow an increasingly standard police department okay. policy, reinforced after the murder of George Floyd. I appreciate you guys having open minds uh, with respect to this training because it's important for us. D.C. Metro Police gave NBC News rare access inside their tactical training facility as veteran officers were put through mock scenarios. Anything we could have done differently in that scenario. Instructors reinforcing how officers should intervene. What you did, Leon, was perfect. Whatever was wrong with the officer that was speaking to him, you recognized it, you separated it, and you talked to him. When witnessing misconduct or bad tactical practices by a fellow officer. It's not only about the intervention, it's also about being willing to accept it. Yeah, that's, and that's, right. Those are the two biggest parts. Not only willing to step up and say, hey, I got this, but then somebody willing to say, you're right, let me take a step back. The Active Bystandership for Law Enforcement, or ABLE project, was launched last year. Spreading quickly, 179 agencies in 38 states are now ABLE certified, touching more than 100,000 officers nationwide. So you really ramped up pretty quickly right after George Floyd's death. We did, but we also wanted to be very intentional to make sure that no one was going to just use this as window dressing. Requiring all departments commit to strict standards before receiving the no-cost training materials. The very best thing that ABLE is about is the story that was never told. If nobody ever knows anything because I stopped it before it can happen, we're good. Hoping to shift police culture by replicating the success of other peer intervention strategies seen in cockpits, hospital rooms, and in the national campaign credited with dramatically reducing drunk driving deaths. Friends don't let friends drive drunk. Police officers don't allow other police officers to negatively engage community and do things that are not consistent with our values as an agency. How do you evaluate whether or not this is working? When you recover a gun, you never know how many lives are not lost as a result of that gun being recovered. In this training, we don't know how many lives it, it might save, but if I'm gonna err on the side of caution, I would rather that they have this than not have this. For the news, I'm Shaquille Brewster.